Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. Who are the leaders that change the world? They're fathers and mothers. They're innovators and business owners. They're people willing to take risks and believe. They strive toward a goal with purpose, willing to sacrifice in order to build something greater. This is what you can expect with our exceptional degree programs. Equip yourself with the skills and Christian character that prepares you to lead with significance. Say yes to your purpose. Visit regent.edu slash learn more. Do you sometimes doubt if you're truly hearing God's voice or if it's really your own? Or have you been in a season where it feels like he has been completely silent? Have you been praying for a way to learn how to hear his voice more clearly? Hey friends, I'm Rachel, host of the Hearing Jesus podcast. If you are ready to grow in your faith and to confidently step into your identity in Christ, then join me as we dig deep into God's word so you can learn to live out your faith in your everyday life. To listen now, go to lifeaudio.com or search Hearing Jesus on your favorite podcast app. Praying for Your Enemies Written and read by Emily Rose Massey But to you who are listening, I say, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Luke 6, verses 27 through 28 A few years ago, the Lord gave me a wonderful opportunity to mentor and disciple a few young women from a former church that my husband and I attended several years prior. It turned out that word started getting around that these young ladies had been associating with me, and the pastors of this church did not approve. One young lady was told that she needed to disconnect from me immediately because my husband and I were dangerous individuals. We were called wolves in sheep's clothing. Once the shock wore off from hearing such statements said about us, I knew I was faced with two options of how to handle these accusations. Allow those words to embitter me towards my former pastors, or lay down my offense at the foot of the cross, forgive, and pray for them. In one of Jesus' sermons in Luke 6, He gives great wisdom to those who are recipients of hurtful words and actions from others. But I say to you who are listening, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. Luke 6 verses 27 through 28. A few verses later, he simply states that one should do unto others that we want done to us. Luke 6, verse 31. As one who is a peacekeeper by nature, I typically struggle when I know someone has a problem with me. I am not one to burn bridges or cut people off. Of course, there is such thing as boundaries, but I have always tried to keep my heart free from offense. I admit that I haven't always been able to shake off those stings from words spoken about me. Knowing that offense will undoubtedly come, I must be quick to forgive and quick to pray for those who mistreat me. It's difficult to hold onto offense when you are purposefully and intentionally praying for the person who hurt you. It doesn't mean that we can always forget the action or words wielded against us, but it does mean that we cannot hold on to it. One of the best ways to guard our heart from bitterness is to ask God to bless those who curse us. You won't have space in your heart for offense when you are approaching the throne of grace on behalf of that enemy. Unforgiveness is bondage. 
It is a yoke that slowly tightens around our neck and chokes the life out of us. Bitterness is like a cancer that spreads throughout your whole body and affects you completely and everything and everyone around you. We are given many opportunities every single day to take the bait to become offended and hold grudges. But it is important that we hold on to Jesus and his powerful word, God's perfect truth. I don't know who you may need to forgive. I don't know how deep the pain goes, how big or small the offense may be. I don't know how long you've carried that burden with you. But I do know that you need to forgive, and you don't have to do it in your own strength. God has given you the Holy Spirit to help you, to heal you, to change your heart. Let's ask Him to help us lift up our enemies to Him so that we can be free and honor God. Let's pray. Father, I come to you today first and foremost with a grateful heart that you would lavish your mercy and love upon me, someone who has sinned against you, O holy and righteous Creator God. Thank you for sending your Son Jesus, who stood in my place to die a death that I deserved so that I could be forgiven, justified, and restored back to you to now be called your child. If I am holding on to unforgiveness against someone who has hurt me or gravely sinned against me, I repent and forgive that person immediately. I have no right to harbor unforgiveness against anyone, and as your child, you call me to forgive others because I have been forgiven by you. I choose to obey you no matter how difficult it may be for me. I trust your Spirit will empower me to forgive and love others how you've forgiven and love me. Help me heal from the wounds that may have been caused by the hand of others. I pray for their heart that they would walk in repentance and walk in forgiveness and know and trust you like I do. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Why are Christians always so serious? I'm Barnabas Piper of the Happy Rant Podcast, where we take Jesus seriously, but not too much else. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com.